Bismillah salatu wa sallam wa Then you have to continue the, uh, the correction of the uh, manuscript. Uh, we are in chapter 4. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is chapter 4, uh, test and verification. Uh, you have just, uh, I, I uh, read all the chapter, and you have to, uh, to rewrite the introduction, uh, the introduction again, this introduction. This introduction, you have to talk about the chapter. The, in this introduction, in any way, you are talking about the chapter. Uh, in order to make the chisel, it's it's not talking about uh, what what you have did on the chapter. You have to talk what uh, what you did on the chapter. The the the, the, uh, the different component of the chapter. Uh, okay, what uh, I write there, you should write the introduction. You have to focus on the chapter content. To do to do this is uh, this is not an introduction. This is. Uh, in order to make chisel code, this is uh, learning to compile chisel. The, 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 this part could be could be uh, written inside inside one of the paragraphs, but not in the introduction. The introduction you have to say that uh, uh, in this chapter we have to do a test and simulation, and we have tested this part, this part, this part, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, you have to talk about uh, the content of. Uh, the uh, the chapter you have to write this and we can see here in the uh, the conclusion was perfect the conclusion you talk exactly what you did the chapter uh, we tested v5 and simulated the components of megatron projects you are talking about what you uh, about the uh, the main purpose of this chapter and this is exactly what you need to do for the for the introduction too Introduction also should concern your chapter. It's not talking about chisel. You have to talk about what they did, what you did in this chapter. Uh, there are small modifications, very small uh, remarks uh, to do. Uh, for instance, the, there, the, this is uh, you can see there. Uh, it's not well formatted. It's 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 problem. It's, uh, it's a format problem. You just need to merge those two. Uh, sentences together to uh, form a new paragraph. We assemble those sentences in one paragraph. That's all. And you have to, yes, uh, yes to to uh, to make it uh, to make it uh, well presentable. Okay, this is good here. Okay, good here, good here. Uh, you should integrate the note. Ah, you have a note here. This part should be integrated. Yes. Should be integrated into the. Uh, should be integrated with the, the paragraph. We don't need a, the, a note here. You can add it here okay. to to create a, a whole uh, a big paragraph. Uh, and here, for instance, signal shows like a figure below. You, you should mention the what, which figure. Figure was seven point one. You, you should mention it with a name. With uh, its name, it's not the figure below. The figure, uh, like the figure seven uh, po point one. Uh, same here. S same here. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to uh, write a sign here. You have to to uh, write it uh, to write it uh, literally. I have to say equal, not the sign equal, here, and you have the conclusion. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all the modification you have to do. I will send you. Uh, I will send you the the. Uh, what is it? Okay. Okay. You have. Uh, Chapter four corrected. Okay, you have the chapter four corrected. Next, we have the introduction. I checked the introduction. 
uh, it's hundred percent AI. You have to change it. And uh, one remark is to add tabulation in the beginning of each uh, each paragraph. You have to add the tabulation. Uh, the tab what? The tabulation uh, will add automatically in uh, LaTeX. Yes, yes, uh, they will add automatically. Anyway, I have to, I have to give this remark uh, in case you forgot, or you have. I have to give this remark just to uh, to make sure you uh, you have it. And uh, in this, uh, when I read this introduction, it's talking about Megatron. It's the, the idea is this: Megatron, Gigatron don't aim at the hardware research field. In this, uh, if I take, for instance, this. In addition to addressing the core component of the Megatron project, this research will provide a safe source of knowledge for researchers. It's not the main idea of the... Uh, it's not a research project. Your thesis is not a research project. It's an educational... It's a, it's a hardware for education. Uh, Let's continue. But the digital design and computer architecture educational and academic research field, this uh, Megatron could be used in the field of educational research. And it's a big, a big field in research. Educational research, how make the computer, the computer architecture and the digital design easy to learn, easy to learn. It's a... Uh, uh, it's an important uh, research field, but it's not the research of uh, the hardware. It's not, it's not the hardware research. The hardware research is totally different from this. It's totally different from this. Uh, I guess that's all. That's all. Uh, uh, I guess that's all. You have just to write uh, an introduction, a conclusion, and uh, sent it to me by email, but you have to write it. You have to write yes. introduction and conclusion, uh, and you have to finish the the sooner, sooner possible, as uh, as, uh, as soon as possible, as soon as possible. You have to finish and give me the uh, the elect electronic format of your uh, thesis, and after that. You have, you, you I have. Give it uh, to you PDF. Yes, PDF, a PDF format. I will send it to the, uh, the examinators. At the same time, you have to print it too. You have to uh, physically print it, and I will uh, organize a meeting with the, uh, the examinator to uh, give the, 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 the physical format to them. And the How many uh, copies should I uh, print? I don't know. You have to print one for me, uh, one for the two, for the two examinator, uh, one for the administration, I guess. Yeah, I need, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Normally, you will need four without uh, uh, a copy for you, uh, for you uh, of course, for you too, when, uh, when uh, doing the, uh, the presentation. Uh, I guess you will need five, uh, five copies. One for me, one, two for the two uh, examinators, one for the administration, I guess this is, and, uh, and one for you, and one for you. You have to, uh, okay. you, you can ask, uh, you can ask other students. I'm not sure about uh, this, but I, I guess it's five. You need only five. And that's yes. all. Yes, and that's all. I will need to do some, uh, some paperwork for the administration too. The next week. So, uh, what about the presentation? The presentation, uh, uh, we will talk about that later. Presentation. Okay. Uh, no, you have to talk uh, now because uh, you, the uh, the next yeah, time. There is no. Mm, yeah, you have to explain now. The presentation. We have some point here about the presentation. Okay, let's take. For instance, uh, okay, let's take uh, some point to respect in the presentation. First uh, of all, for the presentation, uh, should be a presentation about uh, 20 uh, to 30 minutes, I guess. I don't remember. We ha you have one hour. 
We have one hour of presentation, well, of uh, discussion. We have tw 20 to 30 minutes of presentation. Uh, in the presentation, you should be concise. Uh, what does that mean? Concise is like this. If you, uh, if you take, for instance, uh, the presentations I did for, uh, for, for a course. It's different. Uh, uh, the course is different for, uh, from a thesis, uh, a thesis uh, presentation. But there are some important, are they? There are some important uh, notes uh, to, uh, to take in consideration. For instance, for instance, the, the most important thing to do and the big uh, Error. The big mistake that all students do is to charge the presentation. The charge means the, they put a lot of text. You have to take a concise text, like this for instance. This is a small sentence and all this page is constructed of a three sentence. But <coughs> Instead, instead of a text, you have to talk. For instance, we have this, uh, this, uh, this point, for instance. La RAM is a structure composed of plusieurs cellules, mémoire de la même taille. In this, in this point, you have to explain. You have to explain what is, uh, you have a lot of explanation. You, you don't need to read the presentation. You have the point to remember the, the, the talking, and after that, you have to talk. This is the first, the first, the number one mistake for students. All the students, they will copy part of the uh, of the uh, the manuscript, copy a big part, and paste it here, and they will read. They will read directly on the pre presentation. A presentation is not like that. The presentation need to take only a small, concise point just to remember how to talk, what to talk. The most important is to explain. You have a point and then you have to elaborate to explain this uh, particular point. This is the main idea. This is the main idea. I will write it into uh, take, take concise points and elaborate break them after in the presentation presentation okay this is the this is point two this is the most important uh, sometimes sometimes I will write it some times a picture a picture worth uh, one hundred text lines. Sometimes uh, you have to take a picture instead of explaining, uh, taking one hundred text line. Do you understand the, that? Sometimes you have to take uh, only representation to explain uh, what's happening, like this, for instance. Okay, let's take this. This is just this is just a picture, but uh, in this picture you have to explain. We have a RAM with different cells. Each cell has its own address. The address are ordered from 0 to n minus 1. What is n minus 1? n minus 1 is the capacity of the RAM, etc, etc. You have uh, one picture, but upon this picture you will develop, you will explain and you will give your speech. Your speech is uh, centered around this uh, picture. Okay, this is the third point. Uh, the fourth, the fourth, uh, the structure. You have to talk about the structure. The structure you have uh, to uh, 
in the structure you don't have you don't have how we call that uh, arborescence uh, you have you don't have the tree a tree structure structure like uh, like in uh, the manuscript the manuscript the manuscript like in the manuscript you don't have uh, uh, you don't have the, the structure that means that you don't have uh, how can I say that you don't have uh, what is it? In, in your chapter for instance in the manuscript you have uh, 5.8 you don't have this in the, uh, in the, uh, the, the presentation in the pre uh, we say that the presentation is flat is flat. What does that mean? Is flat means that you have only point. If we check, for instance, okay, we check, uh, take another presentation, for instance, you will see you don't have uh, a tree of uh, a tree of uh, paragraphs. You have just point, a list of a point. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, we we'll see another example to it. To show you how to do that, we take for for instance here we have chapter one, chapter one. The structure is is like this. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is this is the first page. This is the first page. This is the first page of my presentation. You have to put all. The elements you need to present. You can't present everything. You don't have to present everything. You have just to pre present some points. And <coughs> here we have a flat structure. We don't have a, an, an arborescence. We don't have a tree. We have a flat representation. We have a list. You have to list here all the elements uh, to present. And after that, the next page is the two. And after that, you have to uh, to give to give okay let's continue to uh, to go point after point the first point was the introduction the next point is the definition the third point is logic gates etc 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 do you understand that it's uh, yes. It's actually yes, yes. actually it's actually a flat or a list a list of the list of what a list of the important the important point points like this. And we have a five. Okay, uh, what can we see here? Uh, five. You need introduction, conclusion, like like usual. Introduction and uh, uh, summary or conclusion. Summary. Uh, uh, what else? Um, uh, you have uh, to number the pages. Uh, number the pages. You have to give. Uh, this is something important. You have to give uh, the number of pages. This is important. Why? Because when the uh, the examiner will try to ask questions, they will refer to the number of the page. An, an examiner will say, go to the page number five, and he will ask his question. Uh, uh, okay, what else do we have? 
Uh, uh, the content of the the uh, the content. presentation. The content. Well, you have the uh, the main content. You have the uh, the four chapter. The, the first chapter was about uh, the definitions and uh, etc. We have the uh, you have to take what uh, what you have in all the uh, the manuscript. Let's take the main point of the manuscript. You have definition of uh, what we did in the first chapter. Yes. I don't remember the structure of the the, the, the other uh, the other uh, chapters. Uh, it talked about uh, the computer digital design computer and computer architecture. Computer. Yes, yes, this is. Yes. You, ha you have to take uh, you have to take the main point here, the main point. For instance, uh, th this definition. You have to add this definition. What is a digital electronic? Uh, you have to give uh, this one, this one. Those two are not important. Those two are not important. And the computer architecture, you have to take the definition. Uh, Microarchitecture, instruction set. Uh, those guys are not important. Uh, okay, yes. yes. You have the three first, this one, and the three first. Uh, what do we have in, in chapter two? Chapter two, we have. Uh, Hardware description language. We have a definition. Uh, we have to um, put this. This is very important. Uh, RDL. We have this uh, and this and this. We have four. We have this. Uh, the definition is very important. We have to make the, uh, the, the difference, the comparison between uh, what is the what is the, the, the difference between HDL and the logic simula simulator. And uh, you have to talk about the uh, the process of HDL synthesis. We have a process; it's very important. And we have to talk about uh, some some languages. These are not important. These are uh, because we will see them later. Chapter two. In chapter three. In chapter three, you have uh, to do uh, to ta talk first about uh, logic in, in this part. Uh, you don't give a definition about logistic, uh, nor about uh, chisel, because you talked previously here. Here you have to give yes, you have to give some uh, perspective about uh, what is logistic and what is a uh, uh, blue spec. Uh, sorry, uh, logistic and chisel. Uh, in chapter three, chapter three, you have directly to uh, to introduce. Uh, the architecture of uh, Gigatron. It's very important. This part is very important. You have to explain how Gigatron works. And uh, uh, this is uh, a pivot point. The examination needs to understand how Gigatron works. If they don't, you will uh, get in trouble. They have to understand how the architecture uh, works, and you have to focus on this. You have to explain how the architecture works. Uh, the problem is not me. I I I, uh, uh, I am the, the one who, uh, wrote, who uh, created the uh, the logism. I know exactly how Megatron works. But the examinator are not in this domain. Are not in this domain. You are probably knowing more than them in this field, and you have to explain carefully how this architecture works. Uh, Gigatron. And to go to Megatron and the differences, of course, uh, in, in this part, in this part, uh, for Gigatron, you have to take uh, this, where is it? You have to take this illustration. Where is the illustration? For, for Gigatron, it's preferable, it's your choice, but it's preferable to use this schematic. What is it? I could not find it.
see the analogy that's on, on diagram. I guess it, this uh, this is. I guess is this one. This one, yes. You have to take this yes. one to explain uh, to explain Gigatron, and the other one about uh, using uh, Logisim to explain Megatron. This one. This one to explain uh, Megatron. You have uh, to take the two. You have to take uh, to this one. This one. Uh, to explain Megatron and the differences and the differences between Megatron and uh, Gigatron uh, okay where was I? we're here architecture description uh, and you have to add a point a point called the uh, differences Francis says between between Gigatron and Megatron. The difference is between you have to add this point. You have to explain what you is add this point in uh, chapter three. In uh, there are no chapter in the presentation. There are all, all only points. You you don't have to uh, to divide uh, the presentation in many chapters. You have only points. No, I'm I'm talking about the differences between Gigatron and Megatron. Should I talk about them in chapter three or uh, in the presentation? Ah, in the presentation. I'm talking about the presentation. Uh, here. Yeah, you have to, to add this point in the presentation. This point is to uh, uh, into the presentation. Uh, because you're right, it's in chapter three. Ah, yes, yes. It just, um, just, uh, uh, it's just to explain. Yes, it's just to explain. Okay, have to add here, and uh, you have to uh, then you have to talk about the implementation. Implementation, you have to give some snippet, not of the code, of course. You have to give some parts of the code, some parts, some small parts of the implementation. And the last one, chapter four, where is chapter four? Chapter four, uh, you have the test. You have the test to do, where are they? Chapter 4, you have to make the test. The test, some, you, you can't take all the tested, all the tests. You can choose, like this, for instance, some of the tests you did in this chapter. You have to put some tests here to explain how it works. Of course, this is important to, to add, this, this diagram is important to add to explain how the process of testing and verification works with chisel and uh, talk about some uh, somehow about uh, uh, the tools used here the tools uh, i mean uh, this one for instance you have to talk about uh, gtk wave and uh, that's all all the tools you need uh, gtk waves and that's all uh, all you need i guess this uh, and uh, about Ecarus. Uh, Ecarus, yes, Ecarus. Ecarus, and uh, a small talk about uh, Antilich, Antilich, the IDU, the IDE, yes. the uh, Ecarus, and uh, the uh, the uh, the GTK wave, the GTK wave. Yes. After that, you have to put some tested, and when you finished. You have, and when you uh, finish this, you have to perform the, the, the simulation. You have to simulate in your PC. You have to simulate the architecture and to 
let's if the uh, if the examiner want to see by themselves the, themselves uh, how, how the uh, test works yes Sir, simulate uh, the test the test yes the test and the simulation of the architecture the uh, the compilation and the uh, the process of compilation it's not a uh, the compilation will take uh, a lot of time yes it's still long how many how how long uh, the uh, simulation will take 20 minutes 20 minutes ah it's too much we can do that we can do that uh, we will not compile we'll just show them the code show them the code and do some uh, some test compilations you can you have many tests you have many tests you can, you can show them how, how you test you have to do that you have to do the presentation and show them how you test your architecture yes I guess that's all do you have questions other questions uh, no slept. no normally it's clear normally it's clear Okay, we will stop here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh,